Do you ever wonder what the person you're talking to is thinking while you're talking to them? Many people certainly have this desire and even if we can not look into the brain of our opposite, so we can read from the body language a lot. And that's exactly what this video is about. We show you how you can interpret body language and thus know what your counterpart is thinking or feeling. Most people can smile at you, although the smile is not sincere, but their body language does not lie. The reason for this is that most people cannot control their gestures and facial expressions. That's why it's so valuable if you know how to interpret body language correctly. Facial expression. Our eyes reveal a lot about how we are really doing, so you can read an incredible amount from them. Feelings such as fear, anger or joy, for example, are reflected in the eyes. The eyes are controlled by the autonomic nervous system, which cannot be consciously controlled. Here come five emotions you can read by the eyes. Number one, fear. When someone is afraid, their pupils dilate very much. This is a protective mechanism to help escape. Number two, attraction. If you are flirting with someone and his or her eyes are dilated, it means that he or she is attracted to you. This is how you can tell if there is interest or not. Number three, disgust. When someone is disgusted, their pupils will contract. Number four, angry. If someone looks angry, and in addition their eyebrows are drawn together and their forehead is furrowed, they are feeling anger. One of the easiest emotions to identify. And number five, lie. A person who remembers something looks in a different direction than someone who is just making something up. Gestures. In addition to facial expressions, we can also read and interpret body language based on gestures. Because there are some gestures that have a clear meaning. Therefore, we have listed 11 common gestures and explain what they mean. Number 1. Folded hands. When someone is sitting or standing in front of you, talking to you with his hands folded, he is showing you that he is superior to you. Number 2. Finger to the nose. If someone puts their finger to their nose or touches their nose with their fingers during a conversation, it means they are focused or have concerns. Number 3. Drumming with fingers. If someone drums his fingers on his leg or on the table, he is impatient or nervous. However, he may also simply want to provoke with this behavior. Number 4. Hold hand in front of mouth. If someone holds his hand in front of his mouth when talking to you, he wants to take back what he has said or is unsure. Number 5. Hand rubbing. When someone rubs his hands, it suggests self-confidence. Number 6. Put hands overhead when your counterpart puts his hands above his head, he signals sovereignty. Number 7. Playing with fingers Playing with your fingers shows disinterest, but your counterpart could also be unfocused or nervous. Number 8. Rest head on hands Someone who rests his head on his hands is thoughtful, bored or exhausted. Number 9. Scratching the head If someone is perplexed or unsure, they might scratch their head. Number 10. Chin rub Someone who rubs their chin during a conversation is either thoughtful or content. And number 11. Crossed arms. When men cross their arms, it means that they are closed or want to keep their distance. When women cross their arms, it means that they are insecure or even fearful. These were probably the most common gestures and facial expressions that your counterpart can make to you during a conversation. Now you know exactly what they mean and can read much better what your counterpart is really thinking while you are talking. Do you still want to know how you can recognize a liar? Then watch the video we link to you at this point. If you liked the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.